What's up guys? Hope you had a happy Easter. We have a few new things for you today. As always, we always have new movements and things like that, but we have a couple new programming notes to go over. So programming note number one, we have a nutrition challenge, which I think we're at about 30-ish people right now, which is fantastic. So uh, even if nobody else joins, that's good. Uh, if you want to join, it's not too late. Again, it starts on Monday. I'd like you to start on Monday. And the rules for it are pretty simple. You need to fill your plates throughout the day with 800 grams of fruits and or vegetables. Uh, so what that's going to do is going to take out some of the bad stuff because you can only eat so much food. Everyone's stomach is only so finite. Uh, so even if you hypothetically were doing the pizza and beer thing and you tried to have all those fruits and veggies, you're at least going to eat less of it. I don't recommend doing any diet challenge that includes pizza and beer because I've tried it and it doesn't work. So um, again, this is a great way to kickstart a program. It's extremely simple to follow. 800 grams is a lot more than you think. Now that's European units. I know, you know, in, in American, it's about seven bananas. If you want to go really high carb and you're trying to bulk up and gain, um, if you're not, you probably want to mix the fruits and veggies together. And within the nutrition program, of course, as many of you have read, there's some mini challenges that are going to come out. So eating certain types of foods throughout the day, having certain diversity, there's a point system and there are prizes obviously. So, um, the incentive is you're going to get healthier. And if you do a really good job with it, there's some prize stuff too. So, um, the other programming note, we have been doing all of our own in-house programming for who knows how long, um, for some of these at-home mods, we're going to mix it up for a week, maybe two weeks, with one of my personal favorite programming. I know at least a couple other coaches' favorite programmer, a guy named Rudy, who does, <coughs> excuse me, got the Rona, um, who does the Outlaw Wads. Um, so the Outlaw Way is a CrossFit program that really focuses on a lot of higher level gymnastics and a lot of weightlifting, but their home workout program has been really cool. So. Um, I went and did a camp along with another coach, George. Um, so we learned all about the programming style and every, the more we learn about it, the more we like it. It's just kind of fallen off the map due to some business decisions. Not to get too deep into it, they're still, in my opinion, the best CrossFit programmers around. And the Outlaw Way has a bunch of home workouts and we're gonna start out with one of theirs that we're gonna go throughout the week. So um, let's move it back over here. The skill. Air Squat Sally. Those of you who have done any of our Sally variations know what that means. For those who don't, there's a song by an artist named Moby. And every time the song tells you to bring Sally up, you're going to go up. Every time it says bring Sally down, you're going to go down. The movement is an air squat. So right off the bat, you're going to begin at the bottom of your squat. So whatever that rock bottom is, you're going to hit play on the little YouTube link I have or on your Spotify or whatever. It's going to say, bring Sally up, bring Sally down, blah, 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 bring Sally up, bring Sally down. Mm -hmm. Long story short, you're going to be spending a lot of this three and a half minute song at the bottom of your squat. Very challenging, even for something like an air squat. So I do want you to go down to the bottom of your squat, but we don't want you just to hang out down there with a rounded back and be crappy. Try to make this something that's going to improve your squat form, squat technique. Your legs will burn. The more time we spend down at the bottom of the squat, the better though. So again, Air Squat Sally is where it's at. Now the first outlaw workout, outlaw workout number one. Tyson, why don't you come out here and you can be my handy dandy assistant again. By the way, you guys like my new easel here? It's pretty nice, huh? Uh, my mom was so embarrassed by my last uh, whiteboard falling down and uh, she just went and got me one for Easter. So. Thumbs up to Marianne doing. She's really making it happen. Who needs George Lucas when you got special effects like these, right? So we have 25 dumbbell thrusters, 30 split jumps, and 35 sit-ups. Dumbbell thrusters. So if you have any types of objects you can do thrusters with, hold those in each hand. Tyson, why don't we show them? We got these five pound dumbbells for the gym just for, for Tyson. He's gonna squat and press overhead, hip crease below the knee, up in one continuous motion. He's popping those suckers out. Look at that. Hitting those standards great. Go ahead and relax. Great job. That is the thruster that we're looking for. 
So if you have two similarly or equally weighted objects, we want to start in the front rack, hip crease below the knee every time, and we finish in that fully locked position with the elbows locked out, um, stacked over the shoulders. Knees locked out, hips open, etc. So just like whether we're doing a barbell, dumbbell, that's our fully stacked position. If you do not have dumbbells, milk jugs, etc., um, but you have access to something like a barbell, which some people from the gym uh, did borrow, go ahead and use, uh, use barbells uh, with weights on them. You can use a sandbag, you can use a backpack, whatever you want. If, it's, if you don't have access again to two equally weighted things, one is fine. Do the best you can with what you got. 25 is a lot, so be prepared. After that, we have 30 split jumps. So I'm already happy about this because my arch nemesis is something called the jumping lunge. The split jump is like a jumping lunge, but better. You don't need to touch your knee to the ground every time. You're going to go into a split, and you're going to jump out of that split, and you're going to switch legs. So Tyson, go ahead. You don't need to go all the way down. Perfect. Look at that. So he's going into his lunge-ish position. Every time we jump and extend, it's a repetition. So 30 total, that's going to be 15 on each side. So just count to 30. Uh, we do want you to try to keep that chest up when you do that lunge. So down here and jumping, that's not what we're looking for. So we want you to dip into that like you would normal lunge and then switch positions like that. Lastly, sit-ups, 30 of those suckers, or 35 actually. If you are able to do them without or with an ab mat, it doesn't matter. Shoulders touch the ground. When we sit back up, we want our shoulders in front of our hip crease. Tyson, why don't you do one on the ground? We're gonna bring the ab mat out. One of the old school ones. So, it's gonna have butt glued to the floor. Shoulders are gonna go back as best you can on that ab mat, because it's about as long as his torso. Go ahead and sit up. Good, shoulders are in front of that hip crease every time. So three rounds of fun. We have the nutrition challenge. We got the outlaw way wad. What more could you want? Let's kick off this Monday. Let's kick it right in the old Johnson.